there are shows in this world that we will never fully understand understand except ghost adventures we have watched every episode to build our obsession our fandom watching alongside each other because no one we know really gives a damn gives Gives a a damn. damn Watching Zack and crew catch groundbreaking proof of the paranormal, inspiring us to explore our own interest in otherworldly phenomena. This is our podcast. We are Paranormal Kuntas. What up, everybody? It's me, Leah. And me, Bethany. And we're the Paranormal Putas. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you missed us. <laughs> please you tell me you missed us. <laughs> yeah, please. I hope so. <laughs> Man, we, uh, today is what? What's today? It is May 18th. and today we are Saturday, in... May 18th. Yeah, man. And we are hanging out where? Uh, psychic. And Spirit Fest <laughs> in San Antonio, Texas, held by the Curious Twins Paranormal. Her, I kept calling it Psychic and Paranormal Fest, and that yeah, was just yeah, not. She it fucked was, it up. It was fucked she up. fucked yeah, it, up. it up. And then I had to delete the post, <laughs> and then I was sweating, and then it was a lot. Anyways. We've been sweating a lot today, but it's also because we've been shaking in our little bootsies, collecting spooky stories here at the festival. And uh, we want to share those with you guys. Yeah, so we had people come and stop at our booth and share personal paranormal experiences. We had some old friends come and chop it up with us. And we just had a really great, wonderful time. And um, yeah, here you go. We really hope you enjoy it. Oh, my God, everybody. We're so excited to be here at Psychic and Spirit Fest. And I think we're about to jump in with uh, a little uh, interview here with... Let me get this right. <laughs> Vanessa, let, let me make sure I introduce you properly to our audience. You are officially the Guinness book holder for what exactly? <laughs> the largest collection of Casper the Friendly Ghost memorabilia oh in the God. world. <laughs> you guys, we got a Guinness book record holder uh, here about to tell y'all. A quick spooky story of her own. How fucking badass. Thank you so much, Vanessa. You're beautiful. You're amazing. And we're so excited for your recent title. (laughs) It's so cool. But you said you got a little spooky story for us, huh? Oh, yeah. 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 Let let us hear it, girl. I mean, there's not always been the friendly ghost in my life. Of course, he has been there for me (laughs) for the longest time. But... Um, growing up, we did buy a house. We had, I grew up in Corpus. So we had bought this house that was newly built, but we were told after the fact it was newly built over Indian burial grounds. Oh my goodness. So I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. You know, the first thing that popped in my head, I did not have a clown to to ring around my neck. Uh, (laughs) But um, we did have like a lot of events that had priests going in and out of our house often. Oh my goodness. My mom was always calling somebody to come and do something because of all the stuff going on. So since I was little, I've always been a sensitive. So... You know, I see him, I hear him, yeah. I know they're around. Yeah. So it makes even more sense. Casper's my BFF. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only one I kept. The other ones, please don't bother me. <laughs> uh, but, you know, even growing up in apartments when we were little, I couldn't sleep because of the footprints and stuff like that. It's like they, they, they're on the water, they, and they're the mosquitoes. <laughs> mm, yeah. Uh, so yeah. it was like that. But in our house, we grew up in, uh, we grew up in for a while. Um, I did have a really, you know, it was like out of my experience slash possession. Oh I mean, possession, you, you see that, you hear that, and you think of all the stuff from the movies. Yeah. But it wasn't like that. I was not puking or anything. I, like, felt my body get out of the bed, walk to my parents' room, and stand there, and my mom get up, and she's like, who are you? She couldn't recognize me, and I was... And, I was trying to say who I was, and I was also trying to say, get out, like, get out of me. Yeah. And I just could say, I could only say the, the name Jack. I just kept saying Jack. I went back to my room, and whenever I fully woke up, I was halfway off of the bed like this, like, like I had just gotten up. Yeah. And I woke up saying Jack. I ran to my mom's room. She was asleep. And I was like, I was just in here, Mom. No, you weren't. I'm like, 
Yes, I was. I was just sitting halfway off my bed. Oh, my goodness. So she walked me back to my room, and I'm looking. You know how the TVs? I mean, back then we had the big TVs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was, you know, I had my TV in my room. I was looking at that, and then right across the hallway in front of my sister's room was the little boy just uh, leaning against the doorway and just like looking. He looked really sad, and I just kept telling my mom, like, he's right there it's a it's his name's jack or something i was saying jack and she just kept looking back he's not there he's not there he's there yeah my sister had woke up because she heard everything and then she started freaking out because she couldn't see it but she said but me telling her that it was in front of her bedroom she started freaking out i'm not gonna sleep in there i'm scared and, and i was just like okay what's going on you know <laughs> i'm like no one can see this little boy um I, I think, you know, Jack always was a strong symbolization part of me because that is my son's middle name now. Oh, wow. Um, also, what had happened in that house that uh, my grandpa, uh, we were in Corpus and they lived in Kingsville. Okay. He had, he drove, he drove all the way from Kingsville to pick us up because my sister was crying, freaking out. We were home alone. It was during Christmas time. And um, the TV in the, in the living room it was on and then it went to static and then we couldn't turn it off like the remote wasn't working for some reason and then like the tv buttons it they wouldn't work yeah yeah and we're like okay what's going on and i, I was going to try to unplug it or something and then the static just got louder and louder and then it turned off oh my and i'm goodness. like okay my sister was the one freaking out yeah and yeah. like watch watch her listen to this later wow you really made me sound bad I'm like, <laughs> Um, I'm just telling what it how it happened. For, yeah, I know, y'all yeah. know. Y'all know. <laughs> uh, sorry, girl. But <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, but yeah, that's she wild. She was freaking out. But uh, so we're in my room after that, just trying to, you know, figure stuff out. My mom, my sister was all, we should call a priest. And I'm like, uh, you know, this is the days of the phone book. Yeah. So we're yeah. like, uh, how do we call a priest? Yeah, what do we do? <laughs> um, but um, we had like one of those little Christmas villages. Yeah. And the little train turned on by itself and went around like three times and stopped. And I was just, okay, okay. Um, that's, that's not right. <laughs> and um, my sister was just kind of like, she turned away and she was looking outside the window and I remember I was looking directly out in the hallway, and I saw a man with a trench coat and a hat. And he kind of just looked my way, and then he turned around, and he had disappeared. Uh. And I'm like, okay, we could call somebody. <laughs> 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 and so we just ended up calling my grandfather. He rushed over, and, you know, we were too scared to, like, leave. <laughs> Um, so like, I was like, well, you could crawl out my window cause I had the front window in the front yeah. of the house. <laughs> um, but that was interesting. But oh, I also man. remember my dad, uh, telling my mom that he thought I was awake because he heard banging, um, outside in front of in the rooms where me and my sister were. Yeah. And whenever he got up, he, he, he saw, um, a little boy playing a with a ball, throwing it against the wall in oh, front of my room. Goodness. And I'm like, wow, okay, so I'm like drawing these in or something yeah, or yeah. because of where the house was or just like all the stuff that happened when my parents divorced. They, they, you know, it was said, you know, black magic was involved because, yeah. you know, my, oh, my dad ended up being like a real douche ass. So, <laughs> <laughs> and I will gladly say that. Oh, hey, we can respect it. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. It, it, happens. it <laughs> definitely happens. Oh my goodness! No, that sounds like you had like the the perfect storm of all the things happening to kind of create some insane activity and. Yes. Oh my goodness. Exactly. I mean, it was it was pretty amazing to see. I mean, but I mean, as I was more shocked than scared. My sister was like the one I was trying to calm down. Yeah. But I think because I wasn't super scared because I was kind of like immune to it because already since I was really little a lot of weird stuff would happen and yeah, stuff and I'm like yeah. okay no, yeah. and I've you know I've talked to a lot of people and they're like you know you have the gift right I was like I'm, I'm guessing I do <laughs> <laughs> I just you know I gotta brush it up and see what's up oh yeah oh, yeah <laughs> yeah because you know apparently I'm I'm good with ghosts and making friends with them. Hey, exactly. Hey, it's got perfect. got 1,300 yes. ghosts in the house. <laughs> we will for sure have to have you for like a full-blown episode to hear some more of your stories because 
just this alone has been so cool. Oh, <laughs> thank you. It's very, it's very much marked in my memory. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's wonderful to, to have this kind of experience to talk about. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Some people are like, oh, my God, I'm so traumatized and stuff like that. I'm like, no, actually, it's like kind of amazing to experience that oh yeah yeah not everybody gets to you yeah. know so and you and like you said it kind of left it left an imprint it, it it was a part of you and will continue to be and it's named your kid jack and hey I know. <laughs> I know. Um, but as far as we know his name is jack because of the captain <laughs> oh, okay of course, of course. okay uh, but you know a lot of times it pops in my head i'm like uh, a little boy named jack possessed me for a bit <laughs> I guess you know that no big, no yeah. biggie, no biggie. It meant something. Yeah. That's wild. Go. That is awesome. That is wild. Oh my goodness! Thank Ooh, you so thank much you. for sharing. Yeah, thank you so of much course. for sharing with us. Yes. Well, thanks for having me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I moved to Denver. Hey. <laughs> hey, everybody. We're here at Psychic and Spirit Fest, and we're hanging out with our ghoul friend, Aiden. Hey, ghoul friends. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> um, we are all crazy. <laughs> we're hanging out here at Psychic and Spirit Fest in San Antonio, and Aiden just got off the stage from doing an incredible performance. Tell us all about it. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Yes, I just spoke, and it was actually it was actually this yeah. week's episode, okay. and, and I was speaking about curanderismo or faith healing. So I did the presentation on that, and uh, it was so fun. It was so exciting. Something about you know we talk all the time, right? We're podcasters, but something about speaking to a real crowd of people, like seeing faces, doing the Q and A, and all that. Nothing beats that. It's so fun. Yeah. Awesome. I enjoyed Most it. Awesome. Bethany actually went up to watch you. Um, so I stayed no, down to mm, man the fort, but it was great. You sounded so just awesome. lovely. Thank Educational you. as always. As always. <laughs> I am the nerd of the group, I think. <laughs> <laughs> No, we love it. We can't be as educational. We fuck shit up way too much, but no, it's so you know, good. You know what it is? I'm just, it. I just Google is all it is. I just spend a lot of time on Google, and I love to read, so I'm like, sure, I'll read this. And it, it makes me sound smart. I'm just reading other people's smart words, to be honest. And we love it, man. But no, you've been crushing it. You've been doing so much these past couple months. So just kind of like fill everybody in. What's been on your plate, and what do you have like upcoming? Let everybody know. Too much on my plate. I'm tired <laughs> as hell. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's facts. It's facts. Oh, no. It's a lot. But you know what? I love it. I, I always say I'm so grateful. I welcome all of this, the momentum, the traffic, the the attention, if you will. I welcome it because that's what Susto is all about. I've always said this. It's about sharing stories. And what better way to do that than, you know, putting my name out there. Um, yeah, recently, you know, the three of us once again have made it as finalists on the Best of Austin, the Austin Chronicles Best of Austin. Um, so if you're listening, vote for Susan. No, <laughs> Listen, vote for either of us. Uh, I was also nominated, though, for the Best Host or in the Best Host category. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll share it. We'll share it. <laughs> No, it's amazing. And then I also was recently on the cover of Texas Connect magazine. Look at me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cover ghoul. <laughs> no, I wanted to. I asked. They had posters, but they keep them, I think, to like archive them. But I was like, dang. But they gave me a digital copy of it. So I might like blow that up and hang it up. Oh, you have to. Right. What a cool moment, man. Thank you. Thank you. Super, super just like grateful um, and humble um, but also like very proud of that like no you I'm should never want to shy away from singing my own praises because yeah. who else will you know yeah yeah give yourself them flowers you need to no we love it though like we're probably some of your biggest fans stop <laughs> literally people came by earlier at my table and they said oh well what are some podcasts that you listen to that you like and I was like those putas right there <laughs> My sister. <laughs> We're a coven now. Yes, honestly, honestly. I Wait, what are your signs? I forgot. Aries. Aries. Scorpio. Scorpio. Oh, and I'm a cat. Damn it. We're two water signs. I was going to be like, we just need a fourth. I know, right? <laughs> it's okay. We can still do it. We can still do it. We're just going to be an emotional coven. 
<laughs> oh my god. I love it. <laughs> I know. Wait, can we talk about though the protesters? Oh my god. Y'all. Y'all are the ones who got to see them. I didn't get to see them. How was that? Tell it was us. very interesting. Uh, God bless their souls. They had a hard time spelling Jesus, which you would think they knew. How did knew. they spell it? I didn't notice. Well, I so took I pictures. went and I saw their signs and it was like, Jesus is your savior, whatever. And then there was some dude with the megaphone and he was doing the, give me a J, give me an E, give me an S, give me a U. What is that spell? Wait, give me another S. I was like, sir, the one name you're supposed to know. Come on. And also, you know what? It's hot in hell, but it's hotter in Texas. So I'm not scared. For I'm not real. worried. For real, though. <laughs> it is so, yeah, it's so brutal out here today. But yeah, I got to see the protesters for like just a second. And they were like, Jesus loves you. And I was like, I know. No, I'm like, that ain't news. I know. I, I saw Stephen before I went on. Yeah. And I told him, I said, was this the first time that you all have had protesters? And he said it was their first time. Oh, wow. And I was like, you know what? You oh, made yay. it. Yeah. It's celebration. If, if, if you're being protested, you're kind of doing something right. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hype up your upcoming events. I think you're doing um, the festival in Colorado. Yes, yes, I am. In July, I will be at the True Crime and Paranormal Podcast Festival. You can uh, get your tickets by visiting their website. I have all of that on my link tree in the bios of my social media. Um, and if you use code SUSTO15, you get 15% off your tickets. Uh, it's going to be my first time ever going to Colorado and, of course, Denver. So very excited. Cannot wait to buy an oxygen tank because the air is thin up there. Uh, but, yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to be speaking there and tabling as well. So... I'll catch you ghouls out there. I thank you. I'm excited. Yeah. And then we'll see, you know, some, probably around the same time, we will be accepting our awards for Best of Austin. Yes, we will. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll be. Yeah, I'll see you at the mixer. Awesome. Well, thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. As always, we love you so much. Of course, I love you too, ghouls. Bye. <laughs> yeah, so like I moved into this um this apartment in Chicago. It was really I was supposed to like have uh, a bedroom, but I ended up being like pushed out to a like um, makeshift like other room like it was actually a storage room yes. right and I was like okay I'll stay in here but no, so but what had started happening was that um, also, like, I would hear like a storage room little tiny like this the size of this <laughs> table can you tell people what size this table is like it was like six by oh, yeah. two <laughs> But anyway, um, the first time he visited me, I heard him calling my name. Uh, and I thought it was like somebody at the door, my boyfriend came over or something, but I, I opened the door and he's, there's nobody there. Second time, I hear him call my name and then I hear footsteps coming towards my door. And this is always like done where like I was between that sleeping and waking moment. And so... Um, the third time, I actually felt the weight of the body on my bed, and I was I and I always felt safe. I always felt like not scared. I always felt like like this is all good. And then I moved from there to another apartment. It was a full apartment all by myself. I was a big girl. <laughs> But let me tell you, at that apartment, like, people hated going into that apartment. Yes, they were like Mona. Like, there's something, I'm like, I feel safe. I feel secure. I feel like it was a bit, when I was not there, they were like, man, you made a lot of noise last night. And I was like, no, I didn't. I was not there. But, and so that, so, but the very last thing that happened was that I actually felt the, I heard the steps leading up to my bed I felt the weight of his body on the bed 
And then when I felt like the the wetness of him kissing my ear, that's what freaked me out. And I was like, no, I'm done, no, I'm done. I'm breaking up with you. This is too much. I just couldn't after that. Wild. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's my. Wow. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank you for letting me. Footsteps getting in. I couldn't no, imagine hearing footsteps. Yeah. But, but, it, but it was always like, okay, I just always felt like calm and like this is natural, That's the kind of thing. Yeah, it's natural. <laughs> <laughs> so it was so supernatural. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh my goodness. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, putas. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, I feel like you need no introduction, but I gotta introduce you because everybody, we have Maddie here, Maggie, talking smack. What's up? And we love Maddie. Maddie has been so good to us since like the beginning. It feels like, and this is. The first time we've met, like, in person. Yes. Yeah, right? Like, yeah, this is a moment for us. Uh, <laughs> yes, and I love you guys so much. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> yes, we love you. You've been so cool, Whatever so kind, and, like, always out. hyping us um, up. And, I like, we're just so excited to know here. you, and we're so thankful for you. <laughs> oh! I feel like I just wanted you to sit down so I could tell you how much yeah, I love you. That's thanks. all. <laughs> no, but, I mean, I love I love what y'all put out. I mean, all the material you put out. You're funny. And just seeing the voice that comes out of your mouth in real life is nuts to me, man. It's nuts. But well, we've had virtual dates, yes, you know. But it's not true. the same. You're right. It's not the same. I get to touch you. <laughs> It's true, you do, <laughs> and I want you to. Uh, <laughs> so what's been up? Anything going on with you? Man, life. Life is just crazy. Um, I was living uh, with my sister for a minute because life, right? Yeah. And uh, her husband recently passed away. Oh, my goodness. And that fool was messing with me. See, because he couldn't mess with me in real life. When he was alive, he, he could have messed with me. But now he's gone. He's like, poke. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, poke. I swear. I mean, turning off and on lights and moving chairs. And it's just like, what's going on here? And my, <laughs> my sister's off. Ever since you left, it stopped. I'm like, Cause. now he's at my house doing this shit. Yeah. <laughs> he was waiting. He was. Yeah. He's like, all right. Yeah. Well, that's nice to have been chosen. You know, it's a good brother-in-law, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> So that was that was just nuts. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Any like investigating or anything planned in your near future? Uh, we love the Wilson County Jail over in Floresville. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh man, that place just. We love it. We always get activity. Yeah. I mean, it's just an awesome, awesome we place. Go. We yes, do let's do it. Yeah, we always say it. We really gotta like try to make it happen. Yes. Like, yes. yes. <laughs> like we're so shitty at making plans. Like. We got to get serious about it. It's hard for us to just get together with us. Right, too, with exactly. Us yeah, yeah, because life. Life, man. <laughs> life. He's got, he's out for vengeance. <laughs> that fucker don't sleep. He don't. He don't. But he, there's so much history at that, yeah. at that building. And you could see that people were shorter. I mean, everything's just built. For that time period, yeah, you know, yeah, and oh, yeah, it's just were smaller than yeah, yeah, and I'm like, I, I don't fit in here. <laughs> 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 I gotta walk in sideways. I, I gotta it, go I on a diet before I go in there. <laughs> <laughs> But no, no, I I love it. It's really cool to go in there and see everything. Yes, yes. No, that's awesome. We for sure got to link up and spend some time together. Yes, yeah, let's yeah. do it. <laughs> so glad you're here right now. Thank you so I'm much for sitting down just to say hey. Yeah, anything you want to update anybody on or let them know anything? You can see us on Facebook, Mad G Talking that's Smack. Right, that's right. <laughs> 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yes.
Yes, yes on really. the Mad G Talking Smack page. She be talking that smack. <laughs> I do. I do, and I ain't sorry. And that's why we love you. Honorary puta for life. That's for sure. Mad G, Maddie, Maddie G, Talking oh Smack. Do I, do I need to put on my radio voice? Hi, how you doing, San Antonio? No. Oh. I'm just saying. Now you're just showing yeah. up. No, no, trust me. You gotta pay me for this voice. No, no. <laughs> this is this is my uh, call me on my phone and you know, twenty dollars a minute or some shit like that voice. No. No, no, no. Oh, and that's your introduction, everybody. We got George. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing tonight? <laughs> George thought he was going to get away with just telling us a spooky story and not recording it, but yeah, we tricked yeah. him into it. What were you about to tell us now? Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So we were at the uh, Wilson County Jail. At the Wilson County Jail, uh, we were um, on the third floor where the men were at. And it was me and nothing, uh, nothing but females. And they got a, um, oh, what's a little... Thing that goes off the, the proximity meter and it beeps. Uh, oh gosh. Well, I can't. I can't remember what it's called, but it's got the little antenna and the proximity, and it goes off. Well, stuff was answering through that, and and all the girls were like, they started. They were like, "Do you think I'm pretty?" And beep 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 beep. The thing was beeping. Yeah. Then. They were going down the line. The next girl, do you think I'm pretty? Beep, 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 beep. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, okay, can I cuss on this thing? Can I cuss? Is it okay to say fuck? Okay. I was like, fuck. I got to ask. Do you think I'm pretty? Beep, 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 beep. I'm like, son of a bitch. This thing, these guys think I'm pretty. So I'm like, oh, well, okay. Thank you, you know? <laughs> Don't drop the soap, George. Right, Don't right. So that's, so that's one of the many things that happened that night at the Wilson County oh, Jail. Man. It was crazy. It was crazy. So if you get the, get a chance to go, and I'm going to try and set it up for us. We have to, man, please. Because it is a remarkable place. Yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's not too pricey. It's not, you know, it's a nice, it's yeah. a nice place. But uh, if, if, yeah, if, if you, yeah. Yeah, let's figure out dates and stuff. Let's yes. do this. I'm serious. We got to. <laughs> yes, yes. Because it, it is an amazing, active, uh, just crazy. Like like I told you about the singing, the sometimes it's fucking hard in here. I'm like, what the heck? I mean, that's like some, I mean, I don't know, just some down, broke down man, you know? Like, you know, I can see him hanging his head down. <laughs> Like, next thing you know, the cup is up against the bars, you know, ding, ding. That would be amazing. But no, yeah, that place is awesome. But yeah, so Hell we'll yeah, set man. it up. Let's do we'll it. All right, y'all heard it here. Yeah. George is yeah. going to get us to the, what was it, Williamson County? Uh, Wilson County. Wilson, Wilson County. County in a, a, God, now I can't remember the name of the town. Anyway, Wilson County Jail. All Look right. it up. All right. We're going to do it. Yes, We absolutely. look forward to it. Absolutely. All right, George. All right. <laughs> All right, perfect. Hey, hey, everybody. We are just continuing the good time here at Psychic and Spirit Fest. We are super excited. We had the opportunity to chat with Gina of 1930 House Haunting Chronicles, and she said that she'll hang out with us for a couple minutes and tell us maybe one or two of her experiences. So, everybody, Gina. Hello. Hey. <laughs> hello, hello. Thank you for having me. Hey, thanks for saying yes to tell us a little spooky story. We're super pumped to hear about it. So awesome. It, the floor is yours. <laughs> okay, so um, I want to go with the very, very first experience that I had. Um, the house was built in 1930, and uh, it belongs to my boyfriend. And it was actually um, the same, actually the very first time I was staying over there. And um, it was in the morning. And I was kind of waking up a little bit, and I was just laying there. And the sheets were on me. The comforter was on me. And the sheet was folded over to comforter. You know how you make up a bed. And I'm laying there, and all of a sudden, the sheet starts to lift up with the comforter off of me. So I screamed and jumped on his side of the bed, woke him up, saying, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. And I you know, can't even get the words out. And he's like, what, what, what? And he already had an experience 
prior to that. Um, <laughs> and then we're both just laying there like, what the hell just happened? And then we literally heard this voice, which sounded like it was on a different frequency. It sounded like it was on a totally different way. Like it sounded weird. And it's coming from in front of the bed towards us. And it said, oh, my. Ten minutes after it had lifted the sheets off of me. And we were like, I go, did you hear that? He goes, yeah, it said, oh, my. And I said, yes, I heard it, too. So we both heard it at the same time. So, yeah, that was the very first time I heard something had when it actually had something happen to me at the house. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah. Um, I would think the next biggest one, I think, because there's been so many. That's why I have to blog about them, because there's just so many that I can't even tell you. Um, I think the most memorable one was March a year ago. We were repainting his son's room. And... Um, I was, we were taking a break, went to go sit down. He was in the kitchen. I was on the dining room table. And then I felt something grab my shoulder. And it was like they were cramming their fingers into me. So I'm like, honey, what, what's going on with my back? What's going on with my back? And he runs over to me. He's like, you have fingerprints inside your, like, indentions inside your shoulder. And, of course, we didn't even grab a phone. We were just like freaking out even take a picture we just didn't think about taking a picture we were like what's happening what's happening it was so sharp and so intense um that it left marks like it left an indention and then he went to the kitchen and then he he uh, actually had the same thing happen to him in the kitchen um fast forward to a few months ago i was speaking with a psychic and i just told her hey I'm not really going to tell you a whole much, but tell me what's going on with this guy's house. <laughs> and she goes, well, there is an old man that lives in the house, and he likes to stay in one room, and he's in a dementia state as he died, and he doesn't like change. We were repainting that room. He lives in that room. So um, he likes to turn on the lights. He likes to, he likes to get into bed. And yeah. messed the bed up after it's been made. Yeah, he's a resident, and uh, we've heard him walking. We've heard him coughing. Oh, my goodness. And we call him the old man. Yeah. 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 And there's another couple that lives there, too. There's a female and a male. Um, the female's real. She's she's very friendly. Okay. She does giggle a lot, and she'll yeah. say, hey, you, like real loud. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, often, often. Yeah, often. Um, that actually happened about two weeks ago or something, and she actually said it twice. Hey, you, hey, you, and my boyfriend heard it. I didn't hear I was in the other room. But it's those kind of things, and there's things that go missing, and they reappear, like, in weird places. And it's it's so frequent that it's it's hard to even write it down. I just try to remember to put it all down in the blog as much as I can. We're hoping to get cameras put them up around the house so that we can actually capture things. Things happen so fast that we can't run and grab our phone because it's done with. By that time, it's all over with. So um, it's really, really active. Um, we don't really know the history of the house. We've we've gone to um, the um, area that would have, like, the surveys of the town. Um, it's outside of Houston, so it's in, a, like, a, sub a suburb city. And so we've um, tried digging around, and we can't find anything on the house. We do know that the previous um, owner was freaked out so much that he actually sleeped out on his driveway in a storage container. We found that out after the fact. Yeah. Yeah. So very, very active. Yeah, I was going to say, some really strong activity. It very like. strong. Wow. But I still stay there. I'm not afraid of anything there. Good. Nothing yeah. really malignant has happened so, to yeah. keep me away, so I'm okay with they're that. Just living, uh, like it's just kind of living yeah. along with with the people that live there. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much. So that is really that's yeah. really cool. Like the, we yeah. love the paranormal, and for you to be so I want to thank you all. like to live in a space that active. Like that's yeah, just and, and insane. to him, yeah, so to cool. my boyfriend, it's just like an everyday occurrence. Oh yeah, that yeah. happened, and you know whatever. He just forgets about it. He forgets to tell me about it because it's so it's so often. It's just so. whatever. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that's so awesome. Even just that little bit. And hopefully that gets everybody intrigued to go check out the blog. Let everybody yeah. know where we can find you again. It's 1930 House Haunting Chronicles on Facebook. Yes. And it's a, it's a page. You can just, you know, like it, follow it. Um, and when we do get cameras, we'll try to capture some stuff oh my and actually goodness. post it. Right now, it's just blogging. Yeah, yeah. At the yeah. Oh, my goodness, guys. Well, if you want to hear more, definitely go check out Gina's blog. Sounds like it's going to be pretty brutal. It's it's <laughs> It's packed. It's packed. It's chock full of stuff. Yes. Thank you so That's much awesome. for having me.
Still rocking and rolling here at Psychic and Spirit Fest. We're super excited. Just had two lovely souls walk into our tent. And we have Putito Eddie here, uh, who's uh, kind of got talked into sitting down in our chair, maybe sharing a quick spooky story with us. Yeah. Yeah, so down for that. So. <laughs> We love it. Yeah, I'm here for it. I'm here for the haunted shit. Um, so, little background. I was just telling these lovely ladies that I, um, I'm from my own border town guy. Um, I, um, where I'm from South Laredo, so cold area, not nice area to live on. I'm talking, yeah, like trailer park ish. Um, and uh, we moved into this house uh, shortly after my dad had passed away, and within like a month of moving in there, we knew shit was like yeah. unhinged you know shit was just the vibes were off yeah, yeah. the vibes were just off everywhere at at the, at the at this new house we were living at right and um just to cut it short um so i had gone to the military i came back my mom was living there alone and it was just kind of her and i she was a nurse right and she'd go off um she had the night shift so i'd stay alone and um all sorts, you know, like the witching hour type of things, right? Yeah. So um, it started real subtle, and then it just, like, escalated through the roof, right? I remember I'd wake up, and I'm Hispanic, right? So, you know, when they tell you the whole, like, if you hear knocking on the door, don't know. So this would just be flat out. The doors would open out for me, right? So we would have, like, a, like a sunscreen, and then our, our, our door to the house, right? And I would hear the knocking on the sunscreen. But then the actual door to the house would be completely just slammed open. But the sunscreen was completely closed. Like this thing just completely invited itself into the house. And um, I remember I would go out on runs, right? And I have horrible, like I'm an insomniac. I just don't sleep. And I would go on these runs. And mind you, it's like the dumbest person ever. I choose the most deserted fucking road to go on this like midnight runs, right? And I'm, I mean, I'm telling you, I, it's a choice. It's a horrible choice, but it's still a choice. And I would, you know, like I was, I was doing my undergrad at the time, so I had a very peculiar style of like studying. I remember I would go run, no headphones, just self hate, and I would ask myself these questions while running and I'd, you know, I'd be running and I, I started history right so I'd be asking myself you know like why did I don't know you know battle of the animal why don't we remember it right and I would have these internal dialogues right and um, at some points throughout the night at certain specific locations I you know like the whole concept of like uh, the lechuza or something so I would hear something in the bushes calling me out and it, it would it would always be subtle and it'd be like, shh, shh. And I'd be like, okay, I'm, you know, that's Hispanic. Either you're trying to cat call me or I'm not going to turn around or like, don't, don't trust someone who's shh at you. Right. And then out of the bushes would come this like uh, um, older lady voice. Right. And he'd be like, mijito. And I'd be like, hell no. And I would just run back home. And right. And then mind you, while, you know, these runs and the whole door spires, things would happen. I started sleepwalking. I had never so sleepwalked in my life. And I remember I would wake up and like the uh, cabinets to the kitchen would be all open or just some weird things like, you know, you know in general. And I felt like for me, it peaked because I eventually moved out after this specific incident, right? Um, so I have a little dog. And um, she got used to like sleeping on the bed with me. And she does this thing where she has to sleep underneath the covers, right? And she does this thing where she kind of like nugs, like tugs on it for, for you to cover her up. And I remember I woke up this one day and I, I felt the little tug and I'm like, oh, okay, you know, it's just my dog. She wants to be underneath the bed. And then like, like immediately I'm like, wait, I'm holding on to her. What's tugging on, right? Like what's, what the hell is going on? And um, I was like, I... I chose to keep my eyes closed. I was not going to open. You know, if I can't see it, it ain't there. And immediately after that realization, I feel something sit down on the edge of the bed. And, like, I'm talking, like, dead weight. And I remember I feel it, you know, just kind of grab on very gently but seductively into my ankles. And it was like a cold hand. Like, it was like a, like someone with a cold hand touching my legs in a very, I don't know, like, I wouldn't know how to describe it. So I started kicking, and um, the blinds at another section of the room just rattled. And then I heard, uh, I heard uh, footsteps 
on the roof, right? And uh, long story short, that night, you know, once more to reiterate, I'm Hispanic, right? So the whole idea of like, if I cover my inside, my entire body with a colcha, I'm, dude, I'm safe, bro. There's nothing, exactly, there's nothing on this world that can stop that from coming in. And the entire time, I just couldn't go to sleep, but I could feel something like, almost like levitating above the bed like this presence and I could feel something just locked in just like staring just staring at me and I remember no matter what I did I would either feel it like on you know next to my head or just above me and I mean just things ended up getting really worse um eventually I told my mom let's sell the fucking house we you know, get on apartments and we just up and left. Mm -hmm. But it was, uh, it was really bad. Um, I got some other stories, but yeah, I'm happy to share this with you guys. Um, you guys just unshared, you know, um, saved me like I don't know, maybe eighty to two hundred bucks of like therapy. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, saying like it helped you on your workouts. You know, yeah. it made you run faster. No, no, possibly. I kid you not. Like. <laughs> And I made you feel sexy really afterwards. And you know, I, I legs, never like. thought I'd be sexualized by a paranormal <laughs> entity in my own household. And people don't talk about this, so I'm bringing awareness <laughs> to the idea. No, I just, you know, I kid you not, like, I would shower and, like, T typical like fingers in the mirror I'm like bro just tell me you want me but like <laughs> I don't want you I don't like you like that I mean it, it was just there's a whole lot to unpack the house was blessed and shit just got worse after that yeah yeah and so I'm not like the religious type at all, right? I'm actually like hella agnostic, but there's a lot of shit I just don't fuck with. I just, lots of respect, lots of, you know, to the entire community, right? But I, I guess I've always had this like sensitivity to this type of stuff. And we've been places and I'm like, yeah, dude, we gotta go. Like, I, yeah, no, there's some shit here. I, I immediately, I'm like, I feel like there's an elephant sitting on my chest. Which is the funniest thing, right? Because she tells me, it's like, how can you like sense these things or like, have all these experiences and you're like completely like ah you know it's the air vents it ain't nothing going on and right and um it's true right but i i got a whole theory behind it on how we actually ended up being haunted but that's the story i share next time oh cliffhanger yes yeah, right a little tease for you guys there right so it's, it's a little to give you like a real episode yeah it's a low incentive call me back i'm at nine five ice cream around <laughs> no, but thank you for having me guys no, thank you so much for sharing that was awesome man thank you so much All right, everybody, we are still rocking and rolling at Psychic and Spirit Fest, and we have the the privilege, excuse me, it's been a long day, we have the privilege <laughs> of hearing a spooky story from Adam, the alien theorist and Rammstein fan. Did I do that right? Rammstein? Rammstein? Got it. It's too hardcore for me to say. <laughs> Everybody, it's Adam. So, uh, we wanted to uh, try to do a demonstration for y'all tonight. So, this dates back to about a year and a half, back to Jefferson, Texas. And most of the rooms in Jefferson have a theme to them. And this is one of the few times I've slept in the room that's full of dolls. All sorts of dolls on the wall, on the ceiling on the floor and so in the bathroom they have a few dolls that are perched here and there and one of the dolls is perched in the towel rack you know to where like it's wedged in there to where uh it's where its belly button would be it's pressed in the in the yeah on the rack in there tucked in there you know so anyways uh they don't have shower heads but they have bathtubs and you know, the bathtub is right there and the, the, it's facing the, the towel rack. And I was taking a bath. Wow. Okay. I had so my back facing the towel rack the the where the doll is at. Yeah. And so I was taking a bath, doing my business, and I hear a big old thump. And my door was closed. And I lean forward because the door is to the bathroom. It's, you know, off to the side, you know. So I lean forward and look to the door. It was still closed. And at first I thought it was... The lady that works there, because she was going in the room that's be located behind the wall where the towel rack is at, where the doll is at. I thought, okay, maybe she 
hit the wall with the broom or hit with a bucket or something, you know, maybe cleaning products. And so I'm like, oh, okay, that's probably what happened. And then uh, I lean, I turn around all the way to where I look at the wall where the towel rack is at. And that doll that was wedged in the towel rack was like if something had grabbed it by its head, yanked it upwards, and like slammed its head against like, like wrapped itself around the towel rack to where it smacked itself in between its legs. You know, you know we can like visual that, visualize that. Because it was hanging, like, okay, dangling, so almost about to, like, Should fall forward, over, yeah. fall, you know, fall over. And I, like, I look at that doll for a couple of seconds. <laughs> then I go back to I cleaning myself, okay. taking my shower, taking my bath. And I'm like, dang it. Too bad I did not get that on film. <laughs> and, you know, I've stepped in that room maybe two, three more times. And... I take a bath and I record, I don't want to say I record myself, but I record the angle of the towel rack where that towel, where that doll it still is, because that doll is still there, the same doll, you know, and I always try to film that spot and I haven't gotten on film, nothing happening, so, but it, it's, it's the Jefferson Hotel in Jefferson, Texas. Yeah, we've heard some really cool things about that location. Yeah, yes, we'd love so to check it out. That's, yeah. that's one of my favorite places to to hang out and investigate. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been there five times, six times. Oh man, that's so cool. So uh, one time we did stay at the Con Hotel. It's reported to be haunted. Unfortunately, it, I guess it wasn't the right circumstances. Yeah. We didn't experience anything, but like I said, maybe it was a, it wasn't a good night, you know, stars didn't align, everything, you know, but I'm sure it is haunted, you know, from the reports that the tour guide, Jody, has told us. Yeah, oh yeah. Like you said, it depends on the circumstances for sure, but that's the crazy thing about the paranormal, it doesn't always happen when we want it to. <laughs> exactly, just like fishing. That's <laughs> true. It's so true, man. That's awesome. Oh my goodness, Adam. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, man. That was really cool to get the have the talk, to have the chat with you. You're welcome, man. Thank you for hearing my story. Yes, awesome. <laughs> Okay. Awesome. Yes, we're loving it because we love you so much. <laughs> hey, everybody. We're still hanging out here at Psychic and Spirit Fest in San Antonio, and we've got Jen here with us. Hello. 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 Hi. I can't match your energy. <laughs> Bro, it's totally good. <laughs> bro, bro, it's all good. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know, if you've been listening to us for a long time, then you would know that, you know, Jen's been on the show before. We've been on her shows before. Um, she's a good friend of ours. We really love her. And we're super stoked to get one of her. You said you had a creepy update for yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, so this is like actually very recent where I want to say it was like within the last month or two um, since like we stopped recording our podcast episodes, like our house has become kind of quiet, which is weird. Um, but recently uh, I was up in the middle of the night, like maybe three o'clock and I was texting with somebody and uh, like the doorknob to my room started rattling like somebody was trying to get in and I thought it was my son Sal um, he has trouble opening my door sometimes so I thought it was Sal and even my dog Lola heard it and we both like looked up we're looking at the door and I'm just like well when when's Sal gonna come in so like I finally got up and uh, I checked the hallway and he's not there and I was like, okay. So I checked his room, and he's still asleep. And I was like, oh, okay, that's weird. And so I went back to my room, laid down, and was telling the person that I was texting. I was like, oh, yeah, this just happened. And he was like, oh, that's creepy as fuck. I was like, yeah, dude, my house used to do, like, a lot of weird shit. And then it happened again. 
like the doorknob started rattling like somebody was trying to get in. And again, I got up and nobody was there. And so I was just like, I'm going to sleep on the couch. <laughs> oh, my God. No. But yeah, it, it's a shorty, She's but that just happened psychic. recently. There's, you know, there's always like random <laughs> stuff like knocking yeah, going I on. I don't hear footsteps as much as I used to, but um, yeah, just, you know, that's a quick little update on my haunted house. Rattling. No big. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it, it's kind of normal. <laughs> Thank you for coming through. We appreciate you. Awesome. Yeah. That is so cool. Oh, thank you for sharing yeah, your spooky no update yeah, with us. Nice. That's so great. <laughs> no problem. What a good time, bro. You know, yes. What a good fucking time that was. We are wrapping up our night here at Psychic and Spirit Fest in San Antonio, Texas, hosted by Curious Truths Paranormal. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Curious Truths, Curious Truths Paranormal. Paranormal, <laughs> Curious Truths Paranormal. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, we're so glad we got to talk to everybody that we got to talk to. I mean, we hope that y'all enjoyed the little spooky updates and spooky right. stories. Yeah. And, and it what was a good time. Great to catch up with old friends and to make new ones. And it was seriously just a beautiful day. Yeah, man. And hey, we met a Guinness Book World Record holder. Yes. We, uh, or didn't meet. Sorry, we got to chat with a Guinness Book World Record holder. Uh, a lot of really cool things happened, and we, we're so glad we got to share that with you guys. So yeah. thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, but big sister, are we going to cleanse this baby? I say we keep it dirty. All right. Well, no <laughs> cleanse today, y'all. So you better take your own shower. <laughs> Because you stink, and I stink. We all stink. <laughs> Anyways, per usual, I'm Bethany. And I'm Leah. And we're signing off with two besitos. From Leah.